Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna be doing a full set of acrylic nails. So of course, the first thing that I do is just push back the cuticles. After that, I'm going in with the Flawless Pro E-File by McCart. And I'm just removing the shine from the natural nail with the 180 sanding band. And of course, going around the cuticle area and then filing the rest of the nail. And I'm just doing this very gently to just get rid of the shine. You guys know that our nails produce a lot of oils and those oils happen to be on our nail plate. And so you just have to go in and remove it with the 180 sanding band. And if you don't have an e-file, then of course you can go in and just use a hand file but make sure that it's also a 180 so i'm also using the tip of my drill bit to just fall down on her free edge or of course you can go in and just trim them down with a nail clipper so i'm gonna go ahead and do this on all of the nails again you want to make sure that you get all of that shine off the nail really good y'all because if not you will get lifting so after we finish removing the shine from the natural nails we're gonna move on to the next step which is applying the nail tips now for my nail tips i'm gonna be using my clear nail tips which are available on my website and i'm using the kds glue and just remember that whenever you're applying nail tips you want to make sure that your nail tips always fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall you don't want them to be too big or too small because you will get lifting or breakage so just measure the nail once you found the perfect size apply the glue and then after that just place it on the nail and this one right here was a little bit too big but then the number under that was too um too small and so i just went in and just followed the size down a little bit to make it fit perfectly and you want to do that again if one tip is too big one's too small go with the bigger one and just file it down a little bit after that just go ahead and apply it so we are going to be um, keeping these nails this length so i'm going to go in and just shape them up so she wants like a tapered square shape and these tips are already basically that shape so i'm just going in and redefining the shape so as always just holding my e or sorry my hand file at a 90 degree angle on both sides and the free edge as well and y'all when i say these nail tips are so easy to shape and they give you like the most perfect shape that you could possibly get um and again these tips are on my website i also have the 8080 hand files on my website if you guys are interested and i am having a 30 percent off my entire site right now so if you're wanting to order now is the time because it will be closing down on on the 31st and it's going to close down for restocking and then i'm also going to be adding new products so make sure you go check it out i'll be sure to leave the link down below but again we're just going to go ahead and shape up all of the nails and then we'll move on to the next step
All right, y'all, so look at how good that shape looks. Like, it's literally my absolute favorite shape. So after we finish shaping them, I dust them off, and then I'm going in with my primer and just applying that on the natural nail only. And then for my brush, I'm going to be using the number 14 brush by McCart, which is absolutely beautiful. And this was my first time using it, so I'm just going to dip it into my monomer to basically break it in. So I'm just dipping it in and wiping it off on my paper towel. And I'm just basically trying to get rid of the product that's built up in the nail from, you know, whatever product they use to keep the brush um, or the bristles nice and like together. That way they can put it in the packaging. So again, just going in and steady wiping it off once everything is completely off the brush. Of course, dipping it into my monomer and then into my powder to create my acrylic bead. And this is the acrylic in the color uh, Pretty in Pink. This one is also available on my website. So, of course, I placed my first bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meets. Second bead close in, placing it. Yeah, I can't talk today. Placing it closer to the cuticle area. And then my third bead. Sorry, y'all. No, I didn't. I placed my first bead in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meet placing my second one closer to the tip and then my third one placing it closer to the cuticle area to where it's really close to the cuticle but not on the actual skin and then of course as you're brushing it down just making sure that you're not brushing down too hard because you don't want to brush any of the product off the nail you just basically want to smooth everything out um so after that the next bead i'm going to place closer to like the middle of the nail and this is what's going to build our apex and basically help with the nail not breaking off so easily and it gives our nail some strength so placing it down same thing patting it down making sure that it's around the cuticle area very nice and neat after that just very gently patting it and then brushing down towards the tip but keeping we want to keep all like mostly all of the acrylic right there where we placed it we just want to blend it in with the rest of the nail so just like that and then of course wiping your brush off and then cleaning around the cuticle area so if you get any product on the skin you're basically just going in and removing it that way you don't get any lifting and as always as i'm working i'm steady looking at the nail from different angles that way if i need to go in and add more acrylic somewhere then i know exactly where to place it but for the most part i always do a four ball method again it's the first bead right here in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meets then i pat it down and then brush it down towards the tip making sure everything is nice and even before i go in and add the next bead and then also as you guys can see as i'm working i'm steady wiping my brush off on a paper towel that way uh, my brush doesn't get any product built up in it and then also i always tell you guys that whenever you're working with acrylic you want to make sure that you're using good paper towels because if not the acrylic is going to start like getting stuck in your brush and right here in this video i actually had ran out of my viva paper towels so i think i'm just using the bound what are they called bounty and so those definitely don't work as good for me they may work for you but they don't work as good for me and so um i did feel like a little bit of acrylic was um getting stuck to my brush but i was just making sure that whenever i was wiping my brush off that i was basically wiping just with a little bit more pressure that way um it got rid of all of the acrylic that was in the brush if any if it was any you know and so i'm gonna go ahead and just do this on all of the nails again i'm doing the four ball method on all of them
Alrighty, so after we finish applying the acrylic, we go in with the 8080 hand file again and just basically redefining the shape because after you apply the acrylic, sometimes it will round off like your corners or you will have those rough edges on the side. So just same thing going in at a 90 degree angle on both sides and the free edge and we're going to do that on all of the nails. Alrighty, so y'all look at how good these nail looks. I mean, the color, the shape, and look how smooth they are. And this is before I even go in and file. So next we're going in with the extra fine tapered drill bit. Again, I am using the um, Flawless Pro e-file by McCart. And y'all, when I say this drill is so good, like it is just so smooth like it literally at first i was like is this thing even on because it just feels so freaking smooth so definitely a 10 out of 10 for me and just the whole design is really nice um it is a little bit more expensive but it is absolutely beautiful so of course we're going around the cuticle area going from the right side all the way over to the left side going back and forth and usually when I'm whenever I'm filing around the cuticle area I just file until I'm able to see where the cuticle is where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is that way I know that the acrylic is not on the skin and then as far as the rest of the nail I just go in and just file the rest um, or the entire nail that way I know the nail is nice and smooth and literally just flawless and then i also file underneath the free edge that way if it's a little bit thick i can just go in and just thin it out just a bit so again filing around the cuticle area from the right side all the way over to the left side and then filing the rest of the nail and then filing underneath the free edge if you need to so same thing for all of the nails and then during this step i am using my e-file 
at 11,000 RPMs. After I finish filing all of the nails, we're going in with the buffer and this is going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file so make sure that you buff them really really good. Alrighty, so after the buffing part, I'm going to go in with my hand file again and I'm going to turn my client's fingers around and I'm just going to give them a gentle file just like this and this is what helps me get the most perfect and straight shape. So definitely try this out and see how it works for you. Alrighty, so after we finish, we're going to go ahead and dust the nails off and wipe them off. And then after that, I'm going in with a silver holographic polish and just applying that on all of the tips because I am going to be doing blink out tips. So um, I'm also going to be using a large charm on every single nail. So I am going to be using the hard gel for that. Alrighty, so after I finish doing the tips on all of them, now I'm going to go in with the charm. So I'm just going in and doing the hard gel right in the middle. This is the McCard rhinestone glue, which is basically the same thing as hard gel. And just placing my large um, charms and curing each one for like 30 seconds. Um, just to make sure that it's on there really good and then also um, just curing it that way it doesn't move while you're working on the other nail so I again recommend that you cure each one at a time like as soon as you do it because they like it will um, your charm will move so after all of the charms are on there I'm gonna go ahead and just basically fill in the entire tip with um, the smaller rhinestones, which will be my ABSS 16, no, 14, 12, and 6. And then I'm also going to be using some SS 12 um, pink rhinestones as well.
Alrighty, so to apply the rest of my bling, I'm just going to be using the Soleil Nail Adhesive and of course just applying it on the nail and then with my wax pencil, I just go in and apply my stones and remember that as you're doing this, you want to alternate between the different sizes. That way everything literally just fits in there like a little puzzle. So um, I'm going to do this on all of the nails. After we finish applying all of the bling, I'm going to spray the nails with the Hurry Up Spray, which is a spray that basically dries the glue instantly. And then I'm going to go in and apply a top coat on um, the pink part of the nails.
so here is the final look as you guys can see they turned out absolutely beautiful and that pink is just to die for